What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode. Today we're doing some bass fishing at a local pond. We're doing something a little bit different today, doing a topwater only fishing challenge. So it's about 6.30 right now, and as you can see, the sun is going down. It's low lighting, perfect conditions for some topwater largemouth. It's been really hot today. I think it reached 85 degrees. So one of the hottest days we've had this month. Hoping topwater will do the trick. These fish were most likely pretty lethargic during the afternoon. Now that it's evening, they should be out aggressive, looking for some food. I'm going down to this pond, bring two rods, some lures, probably gonna be throwing a frog and a popper, catch some fish for you guys. Hope you guys enjoy the video, and you guys stay tuned. A few minutes later. All right guys, so I made it to the pond. Starting off with a little uh, topwater frog. It's about seven o'clock right now. Lighting is low. It's about 60 degrees out, so these fish should be should be biting pretty good. I'm gonna fish this frog for a little while. If it, if it doesn't work out, I'm gonna put on the popper. Yeah, uh, we'll see what we can do here. You guys stay tuned. <coughs> I'm sure you're wondering, why are you throwing a frog in a pond with absolutely no cover, no grass, the other end of this pond has some rocks. It's in the shade. There's some algae. But what I'm gonna do is fish this frog right along this bank for at least 10 minutes. No bites. I'm gonna head over to that other corner that I just mentioned, and I should be able to get a fish there. Okay, guys, well, this is what not to do when you're bass fishing with a bait caster. That tree up there, I didn't even see it. I went, I went to make a cast and yeah, that happened. All right, everyone. So I just completely destroyed my reel. And uh, yeah, so I'm done with the frog. I just put on the popper on my spinning rod. And uh, yeah, we're gonna fish this popper around this pond, see if we can get some blow ups. Hopefully catch the first top water fish of the year because I still have not caught a top water fish in 2019 so yeah we'll keep going we'll see if we can get some fish you guys stay tuned So here's just a quick, a quick tip for you guys. When you're fishing a popper in a small pond like this and you're trying to locate, you're trying to make casts directly at a certain spot. Like, as you can tell, there's a bit of a creek that goes back on the left corner of this pond. And what I'm doing is I'm casting out there and instead of going twitch, reel, twitch, reel, like you normally would, I'm twitching it, reeling up the slack, twitching it again, reeling up the slack, and just trying to keep it in the strike zone, I guess you could say, for as long as possible. Oh, oh, I got hit, I got hit. Oh, got him, got him. Oh, that's a good one, that's a good one. Okay, okay, okay. Get over here, I, I see you. Yes, sir. Oh yes, first top water fish of the year, boys. Not a bad one at all. There we go. Yes, that fish hit it three times before I could actually get a hook in them. On the topwater popper made by Rebel Baits, definitely check them out. 
great bait company just a beautiful fish probably about a pound and a half yes that felt so good finally caught a fish on top water first one of 2019 we'll get this guy back in the water see if we can land a few more There he goes. All right, guys, so finally caught a fish on a topwater bait. I was using the popper made by Rebel Baits. This end of the pond is the shallow end. The water is only about two feet deep. So that fish could have been over here, it could have been over here. The splashing that that topwater bait makes attracts fish from feet away. I'm talking like 50 feet away. So, first fish of the year on topwater. Hopefully, we'll catch a few more. You guys, stay tuned. Oh, that felt so good. Man, I'm telling you guys, if you've never thrown a popper, you need to try it. Honestly, it's my favorite topwater bait. You know, a lot of people like frogs, a lot of people like walking baits. I just like poppers. They're so, they're so, they catch so many fish. They're normally pretty affordable. And they put off such a commotion in the water. This bait could be attracting fish. That fish I just caught could have been over there. And he hit like right out there, so perfect example of how amazing this bait can be we are putting on the frog nice little uh booyah baits uh pad crasher jr i've never caught a fish on a frog so we'll see if we can make that happen today this is my day box this is what i keep all the lures that i most commonly use and the ones that i plan on using on that particular trip I will do a video on how to put together a day box and tips and tricks on tackle organization and pond fishing. Definitely let me know if you would like to see that and I will do it. Why are the turtles chasing after my topwater baits? If you guys have any idea of why that might be the case, please comment down below and let me know. Oh my god. Oh my god, he smoked it. That was insane. Do you guys even see that? That fish destroyed my frog. Oh my goodness. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know if he had it. Are you kidding me? Are you joking? Anyways, that was just insane. He destroyed that frog. Absolutely crushed it. That, and that wasn't a bad fish either. Like, that was a good blow up. I'm not sure if you guys can see it on the GoPro, but wow. All right, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's episode. Felt great to finally catch a fish on top water. Uh, missed one on the frog, caught one on the popper. I think it was pretty good. A uh, pretty good result for the uh, top water fishing, top water only fishing challenge. Um, definitely, let me know down in the comments below if you guys want to see me do this again or anything like it. If you have any ideas for future videos, be sure to drop those down in the comments below too. If you're new. Hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. You are not going to want to miss some of the stuff we got coming soon. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and as always, I will see you guys in the next episode of Eastern Angling.